Patriots, Saints. Okay, good. All right, Patriots versus the Saints. Welcome, guys. Um, we got a crossover Let's see how we do. About to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't uh, know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. All right. I'll probably get slaughtered. Underway here. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. All right. Um... Yeah, you're going the wrong way, buddy. All right. Uh, all right, let's try this. Ingram lines up in the backfield. The give. Breaks free. Chung's able to read that play and make the hit. The Saints running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. All right. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. It's now second down. It's a, it, it's really surprised me how Breeze has he's played so badly this season. Easily. All right. He gives this team a threat on the outside. Wide receiver Brandon Cooks. Every receiving core needs a receiver like Brandon Cooks, a guy that can play outside and or play inside of the slot. All right, let's let's try this. And somebody you have to back up on because he is that quick. Spiller in the backfield, single back set. The Saints take it from the 33. And oh, oh, oh. Third down, and they force the quick three and out. Wow. Thomas Morstead will punt this one away. Ah! That's a tackle by Kenny Phillips. Well, that time he only gets a couple yards. And if I'd have been the punt returner that time, I would have called for a fair catch. Defense was close. All around you, there was nowhere to go. All right. Come on, Brady. Don't let me down. First down at the 37. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette Blunt. Second down here. Damn. That didn't work. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. The Patriots line up. First down marker right at the 47-yard line. able to show off those great hands and pick Damn. that pass from the linebacker position. What a job and what a pair of hands. The Saints offense coming back onto the field here. Desperately trying to avoid Not the start I was hoping for, Brady. Come on. When they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You're putting this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. Knocked down as he fires it. is a former first round pick of the Patriots, Devin McCourty. Devin McCourty has shown everybody what a player he is on the defensive side. He's played corner, he's played safety, and man, the guy is smart. You put it all together, you have an all pro. Second down and 10. Looking at every option. Oh, whoa. Away. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game, you get an offense in third and long. You are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Patriots lined up in the nickel. Colston's taking the Sorry, buddy. 
Boom. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Saints trying to catch the defense by a surprise here on third and long. They go with the run, and sometimes those runs on third and long work, and you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense was ready. They tried it, and it didn't work. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> the Saints select to go for it and bypass the punt on fourth down. The Saints come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. The Saints turn the ball over on downs. The Saints decided to go for it on fourth down that time, and, uh, hey, it didn't pay off. And, of course, the coach, look at him now. He is second guessing his decision. The yeah, Patriots yeah. Offense after uh. throwing the football to the other team the last time they had the ball. Yeah, they got to be careful. They got to know who they're going up against. This is a defense that's good and smart. When you put those things together, look out hard to make big plays against this defense. First down here after the run. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette Block. He's brought down by David Hawthorne. For the offense, Danny Amendola was undrafted out of Texas Tech and now is one of the best pass catchers in the game. He absolutely is one of the best pass catchers, Jim, when you talk All about right, here we go. When he's healthy, he's extremely productive. He just plays so recklessly. That's one of the reasons why he gets hurt. Second and ten. What? Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. The Patriots snap it at the 36. Again, the lead on him. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Third short. I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? You have that kind of faith in your offensive line. Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. Looking across the middle, the Patriots now move the chains. Well, these tight ends of the NFL now, they make the catches down the field. They're fast. They can do it all. And everybody is looking for that all-in-one. A guy that can block at the line of scrimmage, who can catch the football well, and has the speed to make it happen. All right. We need a touchdown here, guys. Ready to snap the football at the 13. The Saints at, at the line. Dime package. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Play number six coming up on this drive. Go! Touchdown! That touchdown partner puts them in front here in the early part of the second quarter. Yeah, it's nice. They scored that touchdown. The defense has got to be kicking themselves because they did not play well or smart on that. Oh, you drive. mother! Oh my God! Actually misses the point after. Wonderful, wonderful. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Hooks has got it on the return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Saints have to take over here on offense, partner, and this team has to have a little chip on the shoulder right now after going for it on fourth down last time deep in the opponent's territory. Yeah, I hope they have a chip on their shoulders because the defense just flat out whipped them. That's why they didn't get that fourth down attempt. You've got to be tougher if you want to pick up fourth down situation. I know there are a lot of people right now still wondering why didn't they just kick the football and go for the three? Well, when you start listening to the fans, next thing you know, Jim, you're sitting next to them. So you got to do what you <laughs> think is right. That's, pretty good. That's what the coach did. I do not disagree with what he did. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. All right, here we go. The Saints break huddle and show a jumbo look. Tackle's made and the first down is picked up. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Ball 
almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Drew Brees has it under center. And Ingram has got the carry once more. Ingram's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that. Wow, that was four yards. Wow. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Ingram, solo back set. Breeze on the move. Oh, oh, Manawi knew he hauls it in. Now, nice they play. The football onto the opponent's side of the field. The football sits at the 42 yard line. The Saints come out in a jumbo set. Outside now on the toss. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Ingram's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. Oh, here we go. It's a good defensive game, actually. This is pretty good. The Saints snap it at the 41. Hostick's going back to the huddle. He's telling everybody, look up at the Jumbotron. Let's watch a replay of me making this spectacular catch. Play number six coming up on this drive. First down following the long play. And it's a complete Nothing, to watch nothing, it. nothing, nothing. Play picks up only two, so now it's second down and eight following the completion. <laughs> Ready right. to go from the 13 yard line. The Saints come out, jumbo package on the field, and that gains a few. Ingram's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. After that last run, it sets up third and six. He'll throw it over the middle. Okay. Good stop, guys. Good stop. Let's see. Uh... Chip shot here. should put them a little more at ease come halftime. Yeah, I think it will. I think it gave them a confidence boost and they, they gained confidence on the other side. I think they lost confidence because of their field goal. Amandova's got it. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Patriots now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. First down at the 27. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Now they'll try over again on second down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Lake Garrett Blunt with the grab. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do. The Patriots from the 37. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette Blount. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. 
dropping back three. And they get the sack. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. The defense pushing the offense back with that sack, and the offense needs 13 yards now on third down. Brady goes to the Gronk. Gronkowski with the catch. Do the little things right. When you do those right, you get big victories. And, and doing it right is what, what this offensive player did that time. Had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, give his offense more chances. Really good job by the offensive player. The Patriots will take the snap from the 40. He's drilled as he throws. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you've got to know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. You've got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. The Patriots will take the snap from the 40. It's caught by Blunt. The Patriots are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Brings it in. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 53-yarder? Hmm, I don't know. For a 53-yard field goal. Nope, short. Comes up short. Well, that time the kicker just comes up short. Just doesn't hit the football solidly. And you can always tell when it's spinning very hard end over end, that means he kicked it too low, and that's why it came up short. The Saints come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The scores six to three. The Saints take it from the 43. Devin McCourty gets the theft. How Bam. Was that interception right before the half fill. Big time. That's all I can say. That's what it was uh, for the situation for your football team and by that player. What a play he made. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. First and ten. Looking long. Almost intercepted. One half down and both offenses still searching for answers. We've got a defensive battle on our hands. And Larry Ridley is coming up next. Morstead will be kicking off right. momentarily as the <clears throat> second half is about to commence. The second half is officially underway. And Amendola's got a chance for a return. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. The Patriots' offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Really? I don't yeah, think I have. Things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel... Oh, <laughs> nice. Nice stop. The defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. This will be second down. Nice stop. Xbox, stop listening. Blunt. Brought down at the 32. Well, it's do or die right now, and you've got to go ahead and make the call to give your offense a chance to get this first down. And I know this team, they have a lot at their disposal. I think there's a play in there that's going to give them a good chance. Tom Brady under center. The Patriots from the 32. The ball is taken out of his hands. 
That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. That was a good play. All set to punt here. Spillers got it at the 21. And sheared in on the tackle. That return's good for about nine. The Saints offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Breeze Bam! Gets to the quarterback. Nice job that time by the defense getting the sack. The blitz was well-timed, and when it's well-timed, the offense doesn't have time to react, and they get a good sack. The Saints from the 22. Launching it deep. Devin McCourty gets the theft. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, Devin ooh. McCourty can play anywhere. He can play corner. He can play safety. And it doesn't matter where he plays. He can make interceptions. Nice play. The Patriots offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. The Patriots have it at the 34. Up the gut here. Jenkins going to make the tackle. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. It's third down now, right around three minutes remaining in the third. It's a two tight end formation. Third down and two. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette. Got it. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Now first and ten. They'll run with it again. Second down and 12. Finds his mark. Tackle made by Bird that time. The Patriots offense, they know it's more than just about their defense. The offense did a good job that time picking up the first down. That's what you want to do. You got a small lead in the second half. Keep getting those first downs and eat that clock up. Blunt. Gets about four yards that time. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. With a minute to go in the third quarter, it's second down. Second down and seven. Intercepted. Yeah, I knew it would happen. Oh, nice one. That was so bad on me. Oh, well. Uh, I'm learning. I'm learning. Close game with the interception. Well, once again, they have set up the offense. So let's see if the offense can finally come through and take advantage of that turnover or that tremendous interception by the defensive player. Nice, nice play, guy. Nice play. The Saints step up to the line, employing now their jump. High tower takes him down. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Mark Ingram carries the football. You got to be smart on the defensive side now here third and long. Be a little careful. Maybe give up a short pass or a short run. And if they throw it short, make sure you come up and make the tackle. Now, looking at third down. Spiller in the backfield, single back set. Pulls it in. 
He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. It's almost as if they're running out of ideas, Phil, for ways to unlock this defense. Now into the fourth quarter. You would think so, Jim. When you watch what they're doing on the offensive side, they have no answers. But when you can't block them, it's hard to have success on the offensive side. Edelman, he'll return this one. That's a gain of eight. Okay. The Patriots have to still be thinking about that last possession. They were actually moving down the field. And then, of course, the untimely interception ended things. Yeah, the defense, look, they got good players. And, you know, you give them enough chances, they're finally going to make the play. You have to be careful with the football. The offense was not. And that's why it resulted in an interception. What do you think they're talking about in that huddle after that drive-killing interception? They're, they're probably telling the quarterback, if you do that again, we're going to kick you out. I don't know. But they, they, they got to play better. The Patriots have really not looked great passing the football, but you wouldn't be able to tell it looking at the scoreboard. Brady's it's only 6-3. <laughs> team that maybe shouldn't be so fortunate right now as the passing attack has not been there all day long. No, the passing game has not worked great. No doubt about that. But look, there's a lot of ways to win in the NFL, and sometimes you have to overcome average play by the quarterback. Third down on the way. Lewis lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Brady is going to scramble. And Bird came very close to a pick. That was a nice call by the defensive coordinator that time. He stays aggressive, and he puts the offense in a fourth down situation. And so now they'll bring out Allen to punt. And a touchback. Hmm. The Saints offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sidelines. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. All right, do or die right here. Lines up in the backfield. First down at the 20. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Devin That's it. The theft. Patriots in the end zone. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the interception perfectly, you make the catch, and you take it all the way back for the score. The Patriots offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Hooks has got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Saints' last possession ended painfully with a pick. And I wonder how they're going to handle the football this time around, Phil. Well, listen, I think they'll handle it a little differently, no doubt. I thought it was a bad call on the interception. It just put the quarterback and the offense in such a bad situation, and they were not able to overcome that. Has the grab. That's his first reception today. The Saints did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now, second and short, really puts the defense in a tough position. Breeze completion percentage, 40% on the day. Okay, do or the die. The Saints have it at the 34. Hooks is there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. Set up now at the 42. This play set up by the long gainer. The pass 
down the field. Pass is intercepted. What's the strategy here, Phil? Their defense just came up with the interception, and now they have the lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah. A chance to really run off some time. Jim, right here, you do everything you can. Milk that clock, snap that football with one second to go on the play clock, and most of all, don't commit a penalty on the offensive side. Second down here after that run play. The Patriots approach the line and they're going with their jumbo package. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette Blunt. It's wide open. And he is brought down at the 45 yard line. He's now past the 100 yard mark on the day. Yeah. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. First down at the 45. They feed it to him one more time. Second and six coming up. Brady's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. The Patriots snap it at the 41. Tackle made by Bird that time. They came out here in the first half and established the run, and they haven't let up since halftime. They haven't. We have a very good run offensive line out here today. We got a really good running back, and the coaches, they kept giving the running back the football, and they are getting it done. The Patriots from the 37. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Lewis is looking for a place to run the football that time to pick up the third down and short, but nowhere to go. Offensive line gets dominated. Now it's fourth down. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. The Patriots turn the ball over on downs. The Patriots offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Do or die. Wait, why are there Patriots on the Saints sideline? That's a huge mistake. Oh my God, that's a bad mistake. With about a minute to go, they're gonna need every break possible. First, they must score on this possession. Wants to go deep. Second down. Late in the fourth quarter. The Saints are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Chandler Jones Bam. gets to the quarterback. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. The Patriots defense now is going to go nickel. Breeze in shotgun formation. Could have been intercepted. The Saints put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long. And they Guys, we're going to get our first win. Go for it on we're going to get Late our first stages. win. Dropping back now into the shotgun. The Saints turn the ball over on downs. That was a last gasp effort to stay alive in the game, and the defense snuffed it out. Now all they have to do is run out the clock. Yeah, awesome job by the defense. They've been solid all day long, and now this is about watching the clock. Make sure you don't create a penalty or have a penalty where that clock will stop. Keep it moving and get this game over with. The Patriots have it at the 29. That's a gain of six. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. 
Well, we know you can win the game, but just running the football, then you just run the football. Take no chances. Keep two hands around it at all times, and don't worry about the extra yard. This will be a field goal drive for Gostowski. And he converts here on the field goal try. Phil, that's a field goal that all but clinches it. Yeah, it did, Jim. And listen, it's been an exciting day and a good day for the offense. And how appropriate that field goal drive. It just gave them the victory. Spiller's got it. gonna seal it as they will not get another playoff in time the Saints offense comes back onto the field and there's nothing they can do to pull out victory here just a snap or two and then it's on to the locker room to explain this loss Bill yeah listen today was not their day uh, you know the other team was just better give some credit to the defense but the offense and it's intercepted which should all but wrap up this game Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. Yay, first win. Nice game, buddy. Feel good. good playing with you. you. Just enjoy the next couple days. All right, my first win in 2015, guys. Hopefully many more to come. I doubt it. That was a good catch. That was awesome. Oh, one-handed. Is everyone Odell Beckham now? So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Look at the rushing yards. All right, guys, I think we're going to end that video here. I just wanted to do one ranked match. Uh, we might do a couple more on Twitch just to see. Uh, that was a pretty good match. It was pretty defensive. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, But I'll be signing off, ending this video here. And, uh, yeah, look out for the next video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It means a lot. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.